the, the, the idea of having negotiations be open to the public, um, I, uh, it's, that wouldn't be a big deal at all. Mm -hmm. Actually, I've, I've, I've been a negotiator on both sides of the table. In this position, I'm on the management team, and so I'm on the management side of the table, and we negotiate with our staff. Mm -hmm. And so I've seen it from both sides. And um, is it a picnic? No. But it is an opportunity to solve problems, to take care of issues, and to um, have a good working relationship where you come to the table and you take care of things that haven't been working very well. Um, I was a negotiator in Caldwell on the other side of the table. And um, quite frankly, if negotiations were open to the public, I don't think some of the shenanigans that were pulled by my administration in Caldwell would have happened. Mm -hmm. Because um, I think if the public would have, would have observed some of the things that happen in negotiations, they would be appalled. Um, and uh, that happened from, from district office administration. And I've heard horror stories from educators around the state of being yelled at by their administrators at the table, um, being um, the table being slapped and saying, I'm not talking anymore, and administrators walking out. And so I think it'd probably make it a more civil process if, um, if we had it open to the public.